Okay, so welcome to my whiteboard workout. Now, this is sort of rubbed off a little bit, but I swear that says whiteboard workout. Now, I'm gonna explain this story really quickly. So I wrote this for me and my friends to do at the gym. While I was at the gym, I went Instagram live and people loved the fact they could watch me work out and they want to know what I was doing. Then they quickly worked out that I was in a gym and they wanted to know how to do this workout at home. Now, it's been a few weeks, but I'm back, I'm here. I'm gonna show you how to do each one of these exercises. If you are at the gym, that's great. I'll show you how to do the gym version, but I also wanna show for the people at home how to do the home version of this. Now, this workout is actually amazing. This is going to be the fourth time that I've done this workout. I am sore every single time in the best way possible, and I want you to be able to experience it too. So let's get going. The first exercise we're gonna talk through is weighted decline sit-ups. All right, so I'm upside down. The first exercise is a weighted decline sit-up. So how I did this at the gym on live was I had a weight here. I came up, pushed the weight over my head, I lowered myself back down. If you're at home, you can do the same thing. So you're down, knees up, come up, push the weight above your head and come back down. If you do not have a weight, which you should have a weight, you can use literally anything. Come up, hands above your head, come back down. Right, so the next exercise on the board is 55-0 skip. So, yep, everyone knows how to skip. Okay, if you cannot skip, you do not have a skipping rope, hands on your hips, you're gonna do 50 crisscross. Obviously that's one, two, three, four, like so. Okay, so the next exercise is a hanging bent leg raise. So how I did this at the gym, I jumped up, raised my knees up to my chest without swinging. Okay, not everyone can do this. So on the ground, if you're at home, hands underneath, you're gonna bring your knees up to your chest and you're gonna sort of bring yourself up like that, a little hip lift up. Right, so we're moving into 20 half burpees. If you're old school BBG, I used to call them snap jumps. Hands on the ground, you're jumping in, back out, in and back out. You're not going in and with your knees in. As you jump in, you should land like that. Okay, next, 15 weighted straight leg raises. So how I did this was I kept the weight above my head and I did straight leg raises. If you are at home, you don't have a weight, you can obviously just have your hands there. You can do a jackknife. You can have your hands underneath your bottom. Up to you. Okay, now we've done the weighted straight leg raises. We are down into mountain climbers. So keeping your wrist in line with your shoulders, you're gonna start walking your knees into your chest and then you're gonna turn that into a run. Right, so we are halfway through 15 weighted bent leg raises. Okay, so what that looks like, everyone can do this at home with a weight. This could honestly be like, a milk carton filled with water and sand. Like, totally up to you. Followed by 40 high knees. I think it speaks for itself, but high knees. Knees up, nice and high. I'm gonna face camera for this one. So when I bring my knees up, watch my abs. So as I bring my knees up, this is all on. And I'm breathing through. Right, so we are almost done. So we have 15 standing oblique crunches. Now for this, you need a heavy weight. For me, heavy feels around the 33 pound or 15 kilo mark, depending on where you live. Okay, so I'm standing up. Hand up, I'm stretching down and I'm crunching back up. Stretching down and crunching back up. Now, if you are at home, you do not have a weight to do this that's heavy enough, don't use a super lightweight. There's no point, okay? Come down on the ground. You're gonna go into a side plank. You're gonna drop your hip down and come back up. So how I do this is I go into a side plank position, drop my hip down, come back up. Drop my hip down, come back up and crunch. So after the standing oblique crunch, we're going into X mountain climber. So feet wide and we're going from side Side. So you're touching your opposite knee to elbow. I'm doing that for 20. Don't run that one out. Do it nice, slow and controlled. Okay, so the final one, which is done a little bit differently, is the side plank to plank to skips. Now the way to do this 
is you don't drop down, okay, if possible. So you're doing a side plank on one side and you have a timer that says 30 seconds. Once it gets to 30 seconds, you're gonna go into a plank for 30 seconds and then you're gonna go to the other side. So as you can see, I'm not dropping down. Obviously don't do this. You're gonna hold that for 30 seconds, hold that for 30 seconds, hold that for 30 seconds. Once you've done one round, you're gonna come up, grab your skipping rope or do your crisscross, whatever you're doing. For your 50 skips, you do it again. Okay, so I will put this in the caption, but this is how you do this work. And no matter if you're at the gym or you're at home, this is how you're gonna do it. So what I said was when I was with my friends is you have two exercises here and you're gonna do these for three rounds. So you go 20 weighted decline sit-ups, 50 skips. Again, 20 weighted, 50 skips, 20 weighted, 50 skips. Three rounds. Once you have done three rounds, you move on to the next one. So that's hanging bent leg raises and half burpees. You need to do three rounds of each. If you are with friends right now and you want to work out and you want to do this together, one of you pick a section and it's the first one to three rounds. So whoever gets the three rounds first, then you just swap. No matter where you are in the workout, whoever gets the three rounds, put your hand up, say I've done three rounds and then you can move on. So you need to get through all of this. So it took me around 21 minutes to get through three rounds of everything. If you want to extend the workout for longer to bring it to that 30 minute workout, Start going from top to bottom in a straight line once you've done everything.